Everyone's probably fully aware already, the Oasisaur is super OP, but now you can add Titans to it and this is not a good thing. Being able to be pay to win, the Oasisaur has made it so much stronger by having Titans on it. So today we're going to look at what can damage the Oasisaur and kill it super fast to try and prevent a lot of these things from happening. What can you do to prevent against the meta of gameplay on the outside PvP these days? Is there much you can do? Today we're going to look at the different types of weapons you can use to try and fight off an Oasis or What would do more damage? Will Bleeders do more damage? Will Rockets do more damage? Will handheld weapons like shotguns, fabbies? What will do the best? We only try and use the most important ones that we feel would do the most damage to see what those damage scales actually are and to see how strong each one fares up. Only a few of these weapons are going to be used because we don't think that if one doesn't work well, then the other ones aren't going to work any good either. Comment down below right now what you think would be the best weapon to fight off an Oasis or They can get up to 100,000 health on full levels. So the first weapon I had an idea was the Ballista Bolt. 900. And the Ballista Bolt does decent damage for seconds it shoots. Yep. The DPS on the Ballista Bolt is actually really good. 22 of those will do it. 22 of those will kill a base health one of these. You can shoot it super sure. fast and it does a lot of damage. Do that again? I don't know, it's only like 400. So the Catapult only does 400 damage per shot and the Spear does 900. Pretty much over double it. It's faster and has a better projectile yeah, speed. So it's way it better to use in comparison to that. Now we have to test a few other things. I tried to use oil jars, but they wouldn't break on top of the dinosaur. I know you gotta shoot it with a little arrow now. Let me see if this works though. Alright. If I was the Why is it burning now? You're flaming it. Flamethrower. Oh, flame what what kind of damage does it do? A lot. Really? Yeah. Like 1500 damage of that little burst. So, it's percentage based then. I then tried to throw the oil jar at the buildings, but it didn't stick to that either, so it doesn't really work like this. I then threw the oil jars at the side of the cliff and lit it up. Uh, we were thinking that this would do a lot of damage. It's not a really effective way of defending the base. It might be a good way of stopping people from running on top of your pillar or something if they were to get off of that. It, I don't think it lights up a golem either. I think the only thing that lights up a golem is a phoenix, and if you don't have a phoenix, then it's not really much point. So the idea was to try and protect the base like this and scare them from coming on here, but it's not an effective method of defense. You'd rather have rocket launchers or the spears or something else. This is not effective, and obviously he's not going to come in that close if you've got turrets on the base because you'll see soon. All right, what tell me exactly do. how much damage it does. Ready? And yeah, once it gets a burn. So, okay, so a full flamethrower tick on a 20,000 health Oasisaur gets it about 800 Ooh, that health. that is a lot. One more. And then rockets do way better. That does almost 2,000. That does uh, 16, 1,600. So, rockets onto an Oasisaur is yeah. 1,600 health did, uh, uh, Yeah, right at like, right at 1,600 almost. Homing rocket, right? Now it's time to test to see if the homing rocket did more damage than a normal rocket. I'm pretty sure from memory, homing rockets do less damage, but they can chase the people and everything. I didn't have my guy, my friend, in an opposite tribe, so it didn't lock on. That's why you weren't seeing the lock on signal. However, it still will take the same amount of damage. So it was time to shoot the rocket to see if it did even more damage. And if it did, could this be an effective way of fighting, of defending the base? More. Do one more. No, it's less, like 1300. I decided for the memes to try out a cluster grenade. I know it won't do much damage and it's not much point, but hey, they look fun and they're fun to use. Why not try them out? Not very much. So, shotgun. Do it again. It's like 1100 per shot. With a 230 damage shotgun. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does, yeah. About 
about 400 damage. That's one flame. That's a prim flame th flame arrow, by the way. Mm, 400. With a prim. So, so far we can tell that the rocket turret and the rockets do the most damage. You got the blister bolts and the shotgun with decent damage does a lot of damage. That would have to be one of your best ways of defending. A decent damage shotgun or rocket launchers shooting at this thing, maybe even ballista bolts. You may be getting sniped or shot by a wyvern, so you want to be moving. Shotgun might be the best option in my opinion. At this point, I think shotgun, a decent shotgun is a good idea. Then we tried out the wyverns, but for some reason, I have no idea why. The special attacks weren't actually doing anything to it. My mate wasn't in, in GCM, my mate wasn't had have anything on it, but no matter what we did, we couldn't actually get any special effects to work on this thing. We punched it and everything and it still did damage, but for some reason the special effects of a wyvern weren't actually so affected. It does 20x spoiling. Minus 20x spoiling, so it like is it 20 times the length? 20 times the length, yeah. You can hold to unseal, so you can just keep a bunch of wyvern milk in there. Yeah. And then just open it when you want to do it, and you have a timer again. Can you can you keep it open while I seal it? So that is, but... Does it give building proof? Mm, let's see. So guys, comment down below your troubles you've had with the Oasis saw and everything else that comes along with it. Have you had a bad run of Scorched Earth? I know I have. And if you guys didn't know, that when Gaia's I, healing or the Gaia's like effect that you get it. from the Oasis or even a wild, cures the that sickness. You can actually shoot characters on the back of an Oasis or, but you can also block them in, so blocking them in is just going to negate that. You have to open, open up the resource thing, so much is good. I can't cry, I've tried. It doesn't work. That's one thing I wanted to test. It doesn't cry. I'm looking at it. I've tried in all different places. It says at 21,000 right now. And you just hit it. And it went down to 19.1. But if they're up in the sky next to your base, you just jump on top. Yeah. And you just keep bleeding it, bleeding it, why they're freaking out over that, your boys are just shooting with a shotgun the whole time, or rockets, and the thing should die within 20-30 seconds. Oh, hey, welcome back, nothing, no, welcome back. What were you doing, why were you blocking me in? Uh, no, I would never do that. So now we wanted to test to see how long it would take with two guys with premium shotguns to kill a, to kill a fully healed 100,000 health Oasis saw, and it takes 17 reloads with two people to kill it. We did this for this amount of time and only got it maybe even to half health. It takes ages. Also, the bleed effect from a thylo does a lot of damage. If you can jump on the back of it and they can't kill you, then you could absolutely melt the thing. Now it was time to try out to see what it was like with turrets, and surprisingly, it absolutely melts the Oasis saw. So if you can sneak turrets under it somewhere and turret trap it, you could kill it really, really fast. It absolutely melts it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you found it informative, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below, and maybe even subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.